This father killed the man on live TV who kidnapped and raped his son. In 1984, Gary Plouch, who is pictured right here, tracked down the kidnapper who assaulted and raped his 11-year-old son. He then ended up shooting him in the head on live TV. Gary waited in disguise at the airport and dealt with the kidnapper while cameras were rolling. He was given a 7-year suspended sentence and received no prison time at all. On March 16, 1984, Jeff Doucette, who is pictured here with Gary's son, was flown back to Louisiana to face trial. He arrived at Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport and was led in handcuffs by police officers through the airport at around 9.30 p.m., where Gary was waiting for Jeff. An employee at the local news channel told Jeff that Gary would be arriving at the airport. A news crew was then waiting for Jeff and they had set up their cameras to record his arrival. But opposite of the news crew was a bank of payphones, where Gary Plouch was waiting while talking to his best friend on the telephone. He wore a baseball cap and sunglasses so that no one would recognize him. And once Jeff came into view, Gary stepped away from the payphone and hung up the phone, pulled out a gun, and then shot Jeff right in the back of the head, killing him. Cops then quickly restrained Gary on sight, and they had him pinned against the bank of telephones asking him, Gary, why? Why Gary? If you want to watch the video, you could easily find it anywhere on the internet. It's honestly not graphic at all, and you don't really see blood at all. So if you easily get traumatized, but you want to watch the video for context, you easily could because it's not that bad. But what do you think about this whole case? Was Gary in the right for killing the man who raped his son? Do you think this was justice or just first degree murder? Also, Gary's wife was also mad about what he did, but not because he killed the guy, but because he didn't tell her and she would have helped him plan it out. All parents say they would do literally anything to protect their kid, and Gary is a prime example of that. As messed up as it is to kill a person, I honestly think Jeff deserved it because he kidnapped and raped Gary's son.